everyone today we will talk about how to make books or generate books by using quarto quarto is actually a very new system generated by r r studio and uh, it is very much like r markdown if you are using that and you know what capabilities the quarto have and what we can do with that so today we will try to generate a book with quarto books because it is a uh, option which they have gave uh, in response to our markdown book down package so it's just like our uh, our book down package but with different capabilities so what i will do i have this vs code open so what i will do i will sh i have mac so i will uh, press command shift p or in windows you can con uh, in vs code press control shift p you can just use to the command uh, go to the command palette here i have already installed quarto so you can look at the instructions on their website that you can how can you install quarto and it's it's a bit different than installing r because it is not dependent upon r so you can install quarto and then what you have to do follow these steps so in here in the command palette of vs code i will write quarto create project okay the first option quarto cre create project press enter then it it will give in an option to gen to it will ask us what kind of project you want what kind of project do you want so actually i, I am making a video about book project so i will click here now it will say where do you want to save this project in your own local pc so i will say create project repository now it will say what is the project directory name i will say test book enter now it will automatically generate a quarter project for us it has many options like you can see on the sidebar uh, no i do not want to okay intro.qmd references.bib which acts as a bib text in just like in latex references which has all the references and i will explain what does this mean and this mean and this mean summary index index this file is just like the index which is the used at the github which we used git, git index.html to render a, a website git ignore and all those files in the book quarter book this this file is actually very important this quarter.yml file because it has all the ingredients which is needed to render the project it gives is a, uh, you can change here many options we are right now rendering a book so we will say type is equal to book what is the format we required we require a pdf format actually and you can actually say here you can change the theme here as well you have to check online on the on the website and those uh, other options that what kind of theme you are uh, able to do here we can actually add a chapter uh, you can we can say last i'm not sure if underscore is loud here so let's test it last chapter um if we say like this okay we can say it what is the date and who is the author and i can change the name here i can say shaw test book okay that's it command s save it so this will actually act as a yaml header which is a yaml header in one r markdown file but this is different in quarto because the yaml header is in, a, in another file and the chapters are in another file in r markdown usually we have a yaml here and these these things are over right down over the uh, under the yaml header here we have different chapters what i will do is i will again open the terminal command shift p i will write here terminal create new terminal with profile enter bash yes which is a base of anaconda here now it will open profile it shows me where i am okay i am in the right folder because it's a folder in the downloads it's not like a whole of the downloads here i can you can see it here that um yes you can see it here that what is the actually ls.la we have only these files here 
okay so now i what i will do i have already installed quarto so what i will say quarto render what this will do it will actually render all the files in this folder now it is giving us the error because yeah because we did not create a last chapter dot kmd so what i will do is i will say last chapter dot uh, sorry c smaller last chapter dot qmd yes now i will generated it and what what is the required in that we have to write is let's say uh, okay chapter heading because this thing is required this acts as a, a title uh, a, as the heading one in the chapter and it is also required for detecting it in the quarter to render so now i will say go to render now it will generate a book but in a html format and also a pdf because we have also gave the option for pdf let's say if i have all the packages of the latex to for rendering this but i'm not sure i have this uh, tiny text from the book down package and from all, all those things because tiny text has an advantage it will auto install some packages but it is not always right that we can find all the packages in my local pc so right now the html has been done is done with html dot dot is it is installing the latest packages it is installing the latex packages and it is uh, one package is missing in actually in here okay finding package for something for this one so let's see if it getting successful okay there is an error for the latex anyways we have rendered the html how we are going to see it i will go to this folder and i will check if i have some html here do we have some html file yes we have so i will open this in the browser i will open this index dot not this one manage downloads and test book here now what i will do i will go to in the book folder i will open this in here here this is the book this is actually the same format which is on the websites normally for the r markdown like book down and r for data science and those kind of things they have given the examples and the source code as well on their website so this is actually the book which is generated in an html format these are all the chapters and you can see references are not with a number why it is that because in the vs code in the reference.kmd we have added this option unnumbered so that's why in the rendered output html book we do not have any those kind of things and this is actually generating a new column or you can say we can have a look at this if we want let me go to here in the references what is the format summary and this is all the introduction here the reference has been cited how it is cited you can have a look in the introduction chapter i guess yes so this is different than the r markdown in the quarter we are actually writing at the rate and the author name but in our markdown we have to we have to like do this and make it like this as well but i guess it's the same but anyways let's say how how we can cross reference a figure if we have a figure here i'm not sure we have a figure yes we have a figure where is that figure has been used is it used somewhere i'm not sure anyways uh, if we want to add the figure how we can add it can we insert a knitter 
include graphics cover dot png i am uh, what is the path let me go to my folder copy the path um yes maybe this one go here insert the path or we can do is we can actually render from the html as well but from the path as well so oh sorry uh command v yes and i can say here what is the name of the image cover dot png so let's say i save it and then i go to yes again how will i render it i will go to the terminal core to render whole project so core to render actually uh, renders whole of the project but if we want to render only one file let's say we want to render only intro.qmd we can actually write core to render intro.qmd so it will render only one file but right now we are actually rendering in the pdf so what i will do i will go to the corto.gml and i will replace the delete this because it is giving us error in the pdf that there is some latex missing latex package missing i will check how can i install it i will install it live through the text live or how it how can i do it but this is actually uh, i have deleted the pdf output format now it will render only in the html and uh, under the theme of cosmo or something so okay and we have changed some things in index remember so i am actually writing this waiting for it it will give us a me error again so let's wait for it okay uh let me do it again core to render whole project but only render the html so let's say what is the output now we can go to the browser and check if the thing we have added okay the html is created the thing if the images are added in our thing or not preface yes it is here we do, did not put the um echo equal to false that's why the code chunks are showing okay let's check another option how we cross reference this figure because in the book we actually need it because it's very interesting and very much needed so in the instead of cross referencing the figure in different chapter i will cross reference it in the same chapter so i will put a label here label 1 okay but in in, in the quarto actually we have a different option we can write it like this label one, uh chunk 1 yes in the jamal output options actually jamal chunk options they name it as the jamal chunk options 